A new dash cam video you see here shows the moments two suspects ditched the stolen car they were in and made a run from police during a chase in northwest Houston. That's right, the officers caught them a short time later. Records reveal this may be at least the third time that driver has taken police on a chase. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn spoke to a witness tonight who captured the moment they ran off yesterday. She now joins us live with that dash cam video. Good evening to you, Rosie. Good evening, Maida and Chauncey. Yeah, HP says the driver of that stolen vehicle was extremely reckless while trying to get away from them yesterday evening. He allegedly crashed into eight other cars and sent one motorcyclist to the hospital. The witness that we spoke to tonight captured some of those final moments on camera. A stolen car making a break from police during the height of rush hour yesterday evening. A black Honda Accord could be seen driving the wrong direction before crashing into a truck. The passenger and driver inside then get out and start running off in the middle of traffic. The dangerous situation unfolding on North Houston Rossland near Woodland Trails. Ahmed Aziz was the one who caught this on his dash cam during his drive home from work. It was like so crazy because when they hit the truck, it was a major hit, like I can feel the sound, my car was just shaking. Just seconds later, you can see Houston police chasing after the suspects. They identified the driver as 26-year-old Terry Rogers and the passenger as 17-year-old Jaya Branch, whom police say had a gun. Investigators say this all started when they spotted the stolen car from College Station around 5.10 p.m. yesterday and tried to pull the car over. HPD says Rogers wouldn't stop, leading police on a chase and hitting nine other vehicles in the span of a mile. Sky Eye captured paramedics responding to a motorcyclist who suffered a broken leg. Aziz says he's just thankful that no one lost their life. It's a very like shocking thing and you are, cannot imagine you are tired, you're just trying to get back to home as soon as possible to see the family. And yeah, it was something like very unexpected for me. HPD caught both suspects a short distance from where the chase ended. Rogers has been charged with felony evasion and failure to stop and render aid. Records show he previously has evading charges from December 2020 and again in June 2021. Branch has been charged with evading arrest and unlawful carrying of a weapon. Reporting live from Northwest Houston, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.